Today we will turn an old e-bike battery into a power bank with a very high capacity. I will use it to charge everything possible over USB in my camper van. I use this 9-year-old e-bike battery. It is a high-quality 52-volt battery with a capacity of 12.5 ampere hours built by EM3. The old plug is stuck. So first I have to remove the old plug and then I want to install a modern XT90 plug. To do this I first have to carefully open the isolation. Next, I need to cut the wires individually and temporarily insulate them so I don't cause a short while I'm installing the new connector. Now I solder two cables to the connector, so that I only have to connect the cables of the battery with these cables later. Then I can solder the two positive cables of the battery to the connector. Because I need a lot of heat for this I use this small butane torch instead of the soldering iron. Afterwards I do the same with the negative cable. Since they are thick cables, it helps to use some flux in the process. And then everything gets re-insulated with heat shrink tubing. So the new connector is installed and I can start soldering the power converters to the matching connector. For this I have ordered these two different DC-DC converter from AliExpress. This one is made for 11 to 60 volts, and the other one is made for 8 to 85 volts. So both should work fine with my 52 volt battery. The soldering of these small cables needs much less heat, so I can use the soldering iron again. Finally, everything has to be insulated with heat shrink again. And this is how it looks now. On one side I have four USB ports and on the other side the matching connector for the battery. Because the power bank will be used in the camper van, I will remake the casing so that the battery is further well protected for the years to come. To do this, I remove the old insulation, which consists only of foam sheets. This is what the inside of the battery looks like without the protective covering. I put some silicone directly where the power cables come out of the BMS to protect them against being pulled. Then I stick on new foam plates with double-sided tape. I use 1 cm thick plates for the sides and 2 cm thick plates for the top and bottom. Next I cut the PVC plates for the casing. To place them accurately, I use double-sided tape again. On the upper plate I make holes for the cables. And I fill the hole for the power cables entirely with silicone. Now I glue the PVC plates. I used silicone for this and it worked okay. But in hindsight I would have preferred to use epoxy for a cleaner look. It did not become the most beautiful one, but the PVC casing has turned out to be quite stable. Now I can connect everything to see if it works. To test it I connect a couple of these lithium polymer chargers as I want to be able to charge my drone batteries on the go. And as it looks, everything works perfectly. I'll put all the links to the parts used in the video description so you can build your own power bank with it if you want. If you liked the video please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this you are welcome to subscribe. I also appreciate questions and comments and will gladly answer them. Take care and see you next time.